Well, today I have this 2008, I believe. Yes, 2008 Chevy Impala LT. And uh, it's got the check engine light. So I <clears throat> checked, uh, checked the code. And it is P0137, which is the O2 sensor. And it's bank one sensor two. So I figured I'd just walk through this real quick. Uh, pretty easy to do. Um, I say easy as far as it's uh, kind of easy to get to the sensor. Uh, the hardest part is probably probably going to be uh, getting the O2 sensor out, at least uh, with me looking at it. That's, that's what I think is going to be kind of hard. It's kind of crusty down there. And uh, don't have good leverage because I have it jacked up on jack stands. So, But here I'll show you where it's at. Um, so right here is the tire. Uh, passenger side door. And it's right under there. So right there is the sensor we need to replace. So it's, you know, this is your exhaust. Here's the sensor. And right there is the cap up there. So um, first thing we need to do, I've, I've moved this flashing down. I've kind of bent it down a little bit so there's access to the plug. Um, we need to unclip that and uh, get this thing replaced. <coughs> There was a little, I've already taken off, I've already messed with this a little bit, but there's a little plastic clip that needs to be pulled out. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that, but uh, the little plastic clip's no longer in there. I pulled it out and it broke because it's plastic down here. So um, it doesn't look like it's a big deal. It just keeps this plug from coming off, but um, then there's just this little clip. Comes right out like so. So... That's kind of the part. Uh, let me actually show the new part here that I got anyway. So here's the parts of Denso. Um, paid like 53, 53 bucks for it, something like that. There's the part number 2344254. And uh, let's go and unbox this real quick so we can see what's all what all's in it. So you got a little of the uh, anti-seize and the plug. So pretty straightforward. Um, we got to get the old one out first, which I pulled out my sensor kit or my uh, socket kit for sensors. Um, it's a 7 8 size. It's the pretty standard size. Uh, this is the one I typically use. But when you put this socket on there, it's, uh, it's pretty tight. So have a couple options. Um, I can use this or I can use a 7 8 wrench, which I have down there. Uh, so I'm going to use a combination of it. I've already kind of sprayed it a little bit with PB Blaster. did that about five minutes ago, so it's sat on there a little bit. But, uh, well, now we just need to get that sensor out. So. All right, got it out. Here's the old one. Uh, the first thing I like to do is make sure that the plugs match up, that it looks right. Let's go ahead and unbandage it here, or take the band off. Looks good to me. 
So I think we got the right part. And I'm gonna put some of this anti-seize on the threads, go back in there, thread it in, tighten it up, plug it in, and clear the code, and I think uh, it should be good to go. I don't know why they give you so much. They give you a ton, but you really only need to put just a little line on there. It's not a don't need to drench this thing in anti seize. I also try to make it a point not to really touch the sensor itself. Um, you know, just in case. Don't want to damage anything, but. Um, all right, got anti seize there on the threads, and uh, we'll go get it in here. Oh, what else to buy? It might not end up on the lot, though. <laughs> I think I'm going to play your mom's birthdays here in two weeks. Who's? Your mom's. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to make this for her car. But I bought a 2012 Acura MDX. Oh, yeah. Leather and shit, you know, and I was like, yeah. I checked it all out. It's one owner, two car packs and stuff. I was like, man, if there's nothing wrong with that, I can make that stuff to start. So that's what I'm going to tell her tonight. Yeah, don't tell her. <laughs> All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the one thing to to get this off, what I did, if you didn't notice, I actually once I had it unplugged, I fit this end through. It's a little tight, but again, this is a seven eighths. Uh, wrench put it on here of course uh, turn it counterclockwise and uh, did the old set it up then beat on it with a hammer so um, didn't take much only took a couple taps and it came right out so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be but you can definitely save yourself some money doing this uh, all that's left now is to clear the code which if you don't have a code scanner you can get one on Amazon or something for a couple bucks or you can actually go down to AutoZone or any of the auto parts store and they'll clear it for you. But I'm going to get this cleared, take it for a drive, maybe drive it for a day, make sure the light doesn't come back on. And uh, there we go. Save uh, save yourself 100 I don't know how much somebody would charge for this. I would, I would guess as easy as that was, most shops charge at least an hour. So, I mean, you know, probably save yourself at least 70 80 bucks. I mean, then they usually mark up the part too. So you're talking probably at least 100 So. Anyways, uh, this helped you. Give it a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks.